another review card review so I <laughs> my Christmas gifts has come in so um, I have here another couple of cards review that we are going to be doing I'm trying to get the light because I don't know what's happening but I'm trying to get the lights okay so I think I need to come down like this to get the lights okay so here we go ladies and gentlemen another review okay we're gonna I think I better stand stand there that's good okay so we're gonna do another card review and this review is going to be if I can get it to work um, we're going to do another um, review now um, got one of my favorite books so this is good <laughs> Um, and um, we are going to try and do the reviews for you guys I, I like doing cards reviews because it not only um, I'm trying to get the lies guys um, it not only helps my channel but it helps the designers of the cards okay so um, we are going to be first doing the review of the mystic and I love these cards I saw them and I thought okay it is the mystic Monday Tara um, it's so beautiful okay I love this so much I love the box I love the way it's packed I like the color I like the the highs that is there it is so beautiful okay uh, alone the packages I give it a 10 it is so beautiful okay so it's a deck for the modern um, mystic so you know I would be one of the modern mystic so um, it's a 78 um, cards and a guidebook grace dominion okay do on grace do on okay so this is beautiful I think she has make other decks I don't know what's happening with the light it's as if I'm I shouldn't um, but the lightning is not so good okay so this is how you open the box what I love about this box look at it it has this little V this little art shape at both sides I'm sorry guys I did open it before because I wanted to look at it on my birthday so I did open it before so it came like this um the mystic it's so beautiful this is the book and that's the back of the card isn't it beautiful and the back of the book has the same thing it's like an eye so it's from grace duong um, grace day d-u-o-n-g okay it's beautiful I love this it's a really 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 fantastic deck so here's the back of the cards they fall out like this I'm loving it this is the back back of the, the box and it's so beautiful okay so wonderful okay as I said before we have um, I have seen this deck because I opened it before it was in plastic foil and everything I think it's one of the most beautiful decks that came out in 2018 I think this is going to be a success and what it say trust your intuition isn't that beautiful this is the most beautiful thing and I love the light blue it's really a sort of light blue but it says trust your intuition and grace you have done a wonderful 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 with these card deck because um, trust your intuition trust your intuition guys this is how I channel so a beautiful card deck okay so let me close off my little fat ends that's how my dress is supposed to be and we're gonna get in it okay so we have the energy of the world I am loving these new card decks because they're coming out with just so much powerful wonderful experience the energy of the world is here and I'm, I'm really yeah there we go the energy of the world is so positive it's so good I'm really 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 loving it 
it's a fantastic deck um then we have judgment so we're going back ways then we have judgment i love the energy of judgment i love this it's so beautiful it's unusual i like working with these decks because i can multi-dimension and i realize that more messages come in when i work with these decks so this is good then we have the sun isn't this beautiful yes it is beautiful look at this it's the energy of the sun a wonderful fantastic really unusual deck grace thanks again it is a very very positive energy of the moon is here and as we have the energy of the moon what we're dealing with is the intuition and the message is trust your intuition and I'm loving this because it is so unusual it is multi-dimension it is really elevating so much things that is happening we have the energy of the star a wonderful wonderful star look at this this is beautiful um, it is with less people but this is wonderful because it's all about the activation of these cards when you do reading for these cards okay um, you know I'm asking my angels and guys to find me the right um, light okay then we have the energy of the tower which is another beautiful beautiful this is really really nice this is really positive the energy of the tower this is good this is positive um, I got this deck from Amazon so maybe um, grace has her own website I will look it up and make sure that you guys find it it's a beautiful deck so the tower and then we have the um, um, the tower then we have the energy of the devil and I like this this is kind of cute this is like your ego this is working on your ego this is so speaking to me this is so wonderful then we have the energy of death, which is always the crossbone, which is powerful. It is good. It is aligning you. It is positive. Um, a wonderful energy. And the back of the cards are like this. Okay. So we have temperance. Isn't that wonderful? She does it really, really, really in such a, a really positive, positive way. This is so positive. This bring in the wonderful energies that you need to bring in in a deck okay the hangman how beautiful how really beautiful to do the energy of the hangman this is positive this is good this is aligning you in wonderful um, situations and this is good okay we have judgment um, justice positive look at this it's just the hand with a scale Balancing out the scale, which is just so so beautiful. Then we have the energy of the strength, and the energy of the strength is a powerful, powerful alignment. And I love, I'm loving this because it is an on, um, an on realistic. Um, and you know, I don't know the people who know Salvatore Dali, but she has this thing with Salvatore Dali. Uh, he's one of my um most favorite person and favorite um person who's kunst and he's just so fabulous the hermit I love this it's a woman hermit look at this the hermit is showing you it's leading you towards where you should go this is what the hermit is doing. it's leading you toward where you should go and this is so powerful then we have the energy of the wheel of fortune isn't this beautiful I am loving this deck as I opened it on my and it was just so powerful it was beautiful I was so aligned with the energies I haven't done a reading which I'm gonna do a reading of each new deck that I bring out for you guys for whoever is watching this okay another wonderful energy is the wheel of fortune that is a cow a sea, um, a sea horse this is beautiful it is a seahorse it has a desert and it has the moon it is multi-dimension it is a beautiful beautiful card now oh how could you not yes this is the energy of the lovers and with the energy of the lover this is powerful this is good this is positive this is aligning yourself and this is bringing multiple facets in the energy of the organization, as usually, I always say the the um, the 
uh, Aerofent is an organization. It's where you go for help. Okay, so it's an institute and an organization, and this is very good. Um, the Emperor. The Emperor is another wonderful, wonderful positive deck. The energy of the Emperor is a unique and a positive deck. Wonderful um, deck. Wonderful um, thing that is happening. It's a positive deck. It's um, unique and the Empress. It says everything. It says everything. She brings you the abundance. There is a fruits. Fruits is always abundance. It's nature, connecting with nature, nurturing. It says all in this card. The High Princess is really the energy of the unseen. It's bringing you information and connecting you with your spirit guides. And this is so beautiful. So that's another wonderful, beautiful one. Then we have the energy of the magician. I love this because he's wearing a robe, but he has all that he has. He has the energy to manifest whatever he wants in his life, and this is very good. So this is just so powerful with the energy of the magician. And then we have the energy of the fool. This is wonderful. This is positive. It's aligning you. It's, it's very positive. It's a positive movement going forward, and this is so very positive. So we have end the major arcana with this deck, so we are going to be looking at the minder arcana and we're starting out um with the fire sign first which is good okay so we're starting out with the king of wands isn't this beautiful it's natural it's modern it's 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 really cartoonist but it's natural and it's modern the queen of one is here i love this oh you girl it's like she's in hawaii I, i'm loving this loving this loving this then we have the knight of wands this is the businessman okay love this i love the blue blue is very good to wear especially if you're going on interviews blues are good to wear the princess of wands is here a really vibrant lady really wonderful she is aligning herself aligning her energies really wonderful then we have the ten of wands which we have the energy of you carrying the burdens I love this because this is just so powerful um, we have the nine of wands which you are protecting yourself which I always tell people nine of wands is always protecting yourself and is ready for whatever is coming at you then we have the eight of wands which is a lot of information it's fast it speeds it's coming at you okay then we have the seven of one you standing your ground which I've always said seven of wands is always about you standing your ground and knowing I'm saying this is where you go and not too far then we have the six of wands now the six of wands is a very positive energy this six of wands is powerful. This six of wands is a victory. It's yay. You know, it's a victory. It's a victory if you overcome in a situation. Four of wands. I love how she did this four of wands because it's all about stability. Anything that has to do with four, it's all about stability because the tools are balancing out each other. And if you look at this, this is a table that is up, that, that is focusing is the, the mirror side of it. Okay. So it's a table. But it's the mirror side of it so you have a strong foundation and this is what I always tell people whatever it is with a forest is always about strong foundation now we have the energy of the five of ones there's a lot of conflicts there's people there's people going at there's a lot of conflicts and a lot of situation that is happening three of ones it is you coming through the portal of the two going towards something much better so you have decided to leave something behind moving forward to something better and it's going to be happening ace of one i love this this is brilliant it is you get receiving a new start a new start to begin something in your life and this is going to be powerful two of wands is here i love this this is powerful this is the opening this is the offer that is coming in um i was doing an inter uh, um, something this morning and we got 11 11 and then before we end um, the meeting we had 111 and this is just so positive because it's actually a spiritual part ways being opened and it's saying yes go ahead 
Now we're moving on to the energy of the swords. The air people, the king of swords. Look at that. He's a think here. He's a thinker. He's standing there thinking. Okay? The swords people are always the thinker. Now we have the energy of justice, which this could be the female justice, or it could be a female lawyer or judge, but it's the queen of swords. Okay? I have to check if they're stick together. Now we have the Knight of Swords, another thinker, another person trying to figure out a situation. So this would be someone between the ages of, um, would be someone between the ages of, uh, whew, of 18 and 45, okay? Then we have the Nine of Swords, the energy of worry. So it's a lot of thoughts going in your head. A lot of thoughts, a lot of worries, a lot of thoughts going in your head. Then we have the Ten of Swords, lies, deception, people stabbing you in the back and all of that going on there. And I like this one, it's not as bad and dramatic as the other decks. Then we have the energy of the Princess of Swords, and I'm sorry that because I've gone through this deck already, all right? Um, the other decks are going to be different. So this is also powerful, I'm loving it, I'm loving the uniqueness of it, um, and it is powerful. The eight of swords it's you in the middle of the situation that you're not seeing clearly seven of swords someone is trying to get away with something she has something behind her back she took two of the swords and she's trying to steal something else very deceptive person be aware of these people they're all around you <laughs> even your friends six the Six of Swords is here, where there's nowhere else to go. You're leaving the situation. Five of Swords, but someone is going to win. Every conflict, someone wins. Three of Swords, heartbreak. Okay, but I love this heartbreak. It is not as so damaging as the rest. I love this heartbreak. Four of Swords, you are resting, you're meditating. Four of Swords is always the sense of meditation. You're meditating, you're trying to connect. You're meditating, it's very, very positive, this Four of Swords. The Two of Swords, it's anchoring, it's balancing, it's seeing where you're going, it's understanding what decision to make, it's going through, thinking about things and making a decision. Ace of Swords is that you have win whatever it is. I love this. It is powerful. It's a wonderful. It is the ends of a woman with her nails well done. This is positive. Now we are looking at the people, the hurt people, and these are the Taurus, Virgos, and uh, Capricorn. This is definitely a hurt man. This is a, a Capricorn or a Taurus person. Very businesslike. They're very business people, they're business oriented, and this is who he is. Queen of Pentacles, this is the mother nature, but yet still she knows how to balance out her financial stability. Knight of Pentacles, another wonderful energy, just as positive. This knight is knowing what he wants, thinking about it, and is about to take off and go and get it. Princess of Pentacles, this girl, she knows exactly. She can balance out anything. She's balancing out everything that she's dealing with. Very wonderful, very good. Um, it's really the hurt sign, people. These are how they are. Nine of Pentacles, a very wonderful energy to start. It's going to be good. I'm loving this. Nine of Pentacles, very good. Ten of Pentacles is also here, which is another wonderful positive energy that is transpiring. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles. You're working, it's all about work. Eight of Pentacles is all about work. Work is infinity, it's all about work. Seven of Pentacles, you're planning, you're planting your seeds and you're waiting for them to um, get. Um, you know, it's like you're planting your seeds and you're waiting for them to grow. 
okay six of pentacles wonderful this person is sitting in the yoga um, sense and what is happening is that she is aligning herself with the right things the right energies and she's aligning herself and this is very good because what is transpiring and what is happening is that this person knows exactly what they want then we have the five of pentacles you know um it's like hardship it's not really hardship you're gonna be okay and you're gonna find a way out okay it's like that lady says it looks a little bit hard it looks a little bit but I'm gonna find my way out okay then we have the four of Pentacles you have strong financial stability you have strong grounds to make this happen for yourself then we have the three of Pentacles this is the hook the three hook it's working together it's collaboration and this is good then we have the two of Pentacles it's wonderful you have two things you need to make a decision whatever it is if the decision that you make is going to be infinity the ace of Pentacle the offering of a new start with your financial stability um, that is coming up I love the hands they're all nicely done <laughs> Oh, um, I love you, Grace. You have done such a wonderful, powerful jobs with this, these card deck. Wonderful. Now, we're going to the cup, people. These are the Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion. And we're beginning with the lover, the man who brings the love, the man who lives in a mysterious world, the man who wants to connect in a mysterious world. This is the man that is full of love. This is the Pisces Cancer Scorpion. I love the ladies. You get one of these ladies and she's never letting you go. So she comes up as a mermaid, and this is good because this is a woman who knows when she has something good, she's not going to let it go. Woo, Mr. Casanova. <laughs> I love this deck. I love Mr. Casanova. I've always said that he was Mr. Casanova. And a lot of people are calling the Knight of Wands Casanova, and I'm thinking, really? And um, this is the Mr. Casanova. He's the Mr. Lover Lover, okay? The Pisces Cancer or Scorpion between the ages of 18 and 45. Always Mr. Lover Lover. And they always, always um, live their entire life being Mr. Lover Lover. Then we have the energy of the Princess of Cups. Now, she is the woman who knows exactly what she wants. And she will sit as a young person and write down everything that she wants and manifest it herself. That's who she is. Ten of Cups, a wonderful collaboration of the family, the bloodline you, you were born in, and the bloodline that you were connect, originally connected to, okay? So this is all about the family connection, okay? I love it. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's powerful. I know exactly what that is saying. Nine of Cups. Your wishes and dreams come true. The heart shape, one cup in the middle, and eight cups are all around letting you know, girl, you're about to make that big break. Love this deck. Love this deck. The Eight of Cups. It's about you seeing everything what is there and you're deciding, okay, I've seen it, I've done it all, I'm moving on to something else. Seven of Cups, I love the Seven of Cups. This is one of the most beautiful Seven of Cups. And with all of them, it's like you have ch ch chances. You can choose, you have chances. Which ones are you going to choose? Which ones are going to take you to the right direction? I will choose the heart um, the flowers, the sun, and the crystal. Okay, that's what I would have chosen. The two of cups, uh, the six of cups, which is beautiful. Now, the six of cups is always about past family life connection. Um, two people coming together. Your spirit guides are both protecting you um, and you know reuniting you two together. And this is a really wonderful five of cups and we have um and this is very nice how she did it look at how she did it now 
this is a card standing but if you turn it like that you have three cups up and two cups down and if you turn it the other way she has two cups up and three cups down brilliant i am loving this thing i can't wait to use it basically i've been just can't wait to use it four of cups is always regrets but it's always okay i've lost um one cup but there is one special one so it's all about you returning and understanding what is happening okay then you have the two of cups which is always love two of cups is always love it's always love it's always coming together it's always connecting very very positive then we have the three of cups this is always gathering celebration people connecting together in harmony and love with each other and then we have the ace of cups this is beautiful it's a wonderful deck please go and get this deck especially for the intuition um, readers it's a wonderful positive deck but it's a, it's a really high upgraded deck you have to um, you know be really working on a multi-dimension trust your own intuition it's all about trusting your own intuition and I'm giving this deck a 10 plus I love this deck thank you grace you have done a wonderful job um, I'm asking um, my um, subscribers to go out and get this deck because it's going to be very very wonderful um, so this is one of my New Year's gift to you guys and I'm wishing you a really wonderful happy new year and um, please like and share share this video thumbs up um, subscribe to the channel so that when new decks are out and I'm doing um, unboxing um, you guys can be alert thank you so much namaste